Hello, welcome to Biology, the scientific study of life. Uh, more about the genetics of viruses and bacteria. Capsid and envelopes. The protein shell enclosing the viral genome is called a capsid, depending on the type of virus. The capsid may be rod-shaped, polyhedral, uh, or more complex in shape. Like T4, capsids are built from a large number of protein subunits called cap, uh, capsomers. But the number of different kinds of proteins is usually small. Tabac uh, ta, uh, notice that tobacco uh, mosaic virus has a rigid rod shaped capsid. Uh, capsid made from over a thousand uh, molecules of a single type of a protein arranged in a helix. Uh, notice this figure, uh, adenoviruses, like this one, uh, which, which infect the respiratory tracts of animals, have 252 identical protein molecules arranged in a polyhedral capsid with 20 um, triangular facts uh, and uh, icosahedron. Notice that in this figure, closer look, glucoprotein, caps, uh, caps, uh, cap somers, and uh, notice also the major 70 to 90 nanometer. Notice also uh, adenoviruses have um, a polyhedral capsid with a glucoprotein spike at each vertex. Notice that. Um, some viruses have accessory structures that help them infect their hosts. For instance, a membrane envelope surrounds the capsids of influenza, uh, like this one. Um, viruses, influenza viruses, and many other viruses found in animals. Notice these viral uh, envelopes, which are derived from the membrane of the host cell, contain host cell phospholipids and membrane proteins. They also contain proteins and uh, glucoproteins of viral origin, uh, which means protein or glucoproteins. Uh, glucoproteins are proteins with a carbohydrate covalently attached. Some viruses uh, carry a few viral enzyme molecules within their capsids. The most complex capsids uh, are found among viruses that infect bacteria called bacteriophages or simply phages. The first phages studied uh, included either uh, sedum that infect E. coli, this, um, this one, the last uh, photo. Uh, seven phages were named type 1, T, uh, T1, type 2, T2, and so forth. In the order of their discovery, the three T even phages, T2, T4, and T6, turned out to be very similar in structure. Their capsids have elongated uh, ecoshedral, hedral, ecoshedral heads. Notice heads. Um, uh, okay. Enclosing their DNA attached to the head is a protein tail. Notice that protein tail and a protein tail piece with fibers that uh, the phages use to attach to a bacterium. Okay, notice head tail, uh, notice head DNA, DNA and tail fiber. Uh, bacteria, bacteriophage, like other T even phages, has a complex capsid consisting of a polyhedral head and a tail apparatus. Uh, back to uh, tobacco mosaic virus, has a helical capsid. Notice that with the overall shape of uh, a rigid rod. Also, um, notice back to influenza viruses, a membrane envelope. Uh, and notice that a glucoprotein, these are the head, notice that, so small. Uh, also notice the size, uh, 80 to 200 nanometer diameter, notice that. Influenza viruses have an water envelope studded with a glucoprotein spikers. The genome consists of eight different RNA molecules, each rubbed in a helical capsid. Okay. 
general features of viral reproductive cycles. Virus, um, viruses are obligate inter, uh, intracellular uh, parasites. They can reproduce only with, within a host cell. An isolated virus is unable to reproduce or do anything in C except infect an appropriate host cell. Viruses um, lack metabolic enzymes, ribosomes, and other equipment for making proteins. Those isolated viruses are merely packaged uh, sets of genes in uh, transit uh, from one host cell to another. Each type of virus can infect only a limited range of host cells called its host range. This host specificity results from the evaluation of, uh, of recognition systems by the virus. Viruses identify uh, their host cells by a, lo by a look and key fit between proteins on the outside of the virus and specific uh, respirator molecules on the surface of cells. Uh, uh, presently, uh, the respirators first evolved because they carried out functions of benefit to the organism. Some viruses have broad host ranges. West Nile virus, for example, can infect um, mosquitoes, birds, and humans, and equine um, uh, uh, encephalitis uh, virus can in infect. Uh, uh, mosquitoes, birds, horses, and humans. Other viruses have host ranges so narrow that they infect only a single species, uh, missiles virus and uh, polio virus, for, for instance, can infect only humans. Furthermore, infection by viruses of multicellular eukaryotes is usually limited to particular tissues. Human cold viruses infect only the cells lining the, the upper respiratory tract and the AIDS virus bear, uh, binds to specific respirators on certain types of white blood cells. A viral infection begins when a genome of a virus makes uh, its way into a host cell, the mechanism of which uh, this nucleic acid enters the cell varies <coughs> depending on the type of virus and uh, the type of host cell. For example, the T even uh, phages use their elaborate tail apparatus to inject DNA um, into a bacterium. Notice this figure. Um, okay. Uh, once inside the viral uh, genome, can commander its host uh, reprogramming the cell uh, to copy the viral nucleic acid and manufacture viral proteins. The host provides the nucleic, nucleotides for making viral nucleic acids as well as enzymes, ribosomes, tRNAs, amino acids, ATP, and other components needed for making the viral proteins dictated by viral genes. Most DNA viruses use the DNA polymerases uh, of the host cell to synthesize new genomes uh, along that uh, the templates provided by uh, the viral DNA. In contrast to replicate their genomes, RNA viruses use special virus encoded polymers uh, that can use RNA as a template. Uninfected cells generally make no enzymes <coughs> for carrying out this latter process. After the viral nucleic acid molecules and capsomers are produced, their assembly into new viruses is often a spontaneous process of self-assembly. In fact, the RNA and capos uh, capsomers of T and V can be separated in the laboratory and then resembled to form complete uh, viruses simply to, by mixing a combinants together under the right conditions. The simplest type of viral reproductive cycle ends with the exit of hundreds or thousands of viruses from the infected host cells, a process that often damages or destroys the cells, such cellular damage and death, as well as the body's responses um, to this destruction uh, cause some of the uh, symptoms associated with viral infections. <clears throat> The viral, uh, the viral progeny that exit a cell have the potential uh, to infect additional cells, spreading the viral infection. 
There are many vari uh, variations on the simplified viral reproductive cycle. We have traced in this overview. We will now take a closer look at some of these variations in bacteria, viruses, phages, and animal viruses. We will uh, consider plant viruses. Okay, back to. Um, a simplified viral reproductive cycle. A virus is an uh, a plug, uh, obligate intra, uh, intracellular parasite uh, uh, that uses the equipment uh, and small br uh, precursors of its host cell to reproduce. In this simplest of the viral cy cycles, uh, the uh, Biracite uh, is a DNA virus with a capsid consisting of a single type of protein. Let's begin with a uh, first virus DNA capsid. Notice that a virus enters cell and uh, is uncoated, releasing viral DNA and capsid proteins. Notice two step two host enzymes uh, replicate the viral genome. Notice the three here. Uh, meanwhile, host enzymes transcribe the viral genome into viral mRNA, which other host enzymes use to make more viral proteins. Um, last one or last step, viral genomes uh, and caps, uh, capsid proteins self-assemble into new virus partials, which exit the cell. Okay, thanks for listening.